So I get a phone call from Bruce, and he says, we're looking for a school bus, sort of like a Guatemalan chicken bus, but one that runs on vegetable oil. The BioTour crew and I had already built three bio buses that served as home office for our traveling environmental education program. Hi, I'm Ethan Burke of BioBus Builders. Since most people at G-Adventures hadn't driven a 40-foot school bus, Bruce figured it might be best to start out with a minibus. Despite competition from the public transportation industry of Central America, we won our bid for a 2000 Bluebird minibus. It was now time for the vegetable oil conversion. We added two 50 gallon tanks and a system to pump and filter used cooking oil from restaurants. By modifying the engine's fuel and coolant systems, we converted the bus into a flex fuel vehicle with the ability to run on diesel, biodiesel, and vegetable oil. Bruce and Melinda paid a visit to the garage to get a sense of the interior layout that we had to work with. Once plans were in place, it was time to get to work. Joe built the beds, cabinets, booth, and table with support from his father, Dom. Tom and Dave cut and welded the safari roof rack. We then added half a kilowatt of solar panels on the roof and wired the bus with 110 volts of electricity to power laptops, cell phones, pretty much anything you'd normally plug in at home or at work. Ryan and John installed a rock and sound system with wireless connections to cell phones and the bus's iPad. Maggie and Claire painted the interior white and we then finished by building a bamboo countertop, table, and hardwood floor. We were almost ready to drive to Toronto, but needed fuel to make it 500 miles north. So we went to Harry's Diner. We've been eating lunch at Harry's almost every day during bus construction. We went back and scored about 25 gallons of vegetable oil and another 60 gallons from another local restaurant. Thank you. Pure vegetable oil. And thanks so much for that vegetable oil. No problem. See you right here. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. It was now in the hands of Belinda and Everett to deck it out, to get it wrapped, and to turn it into a true G Adventures bio bus. I asked Bruce, why do you want a vegetable oil powered bus for G Adventures? And he basically said this to start a conversation to get people thinking outside the box about sustainability and travel. With the smell of french fries lingering close behind your new bio bus, with solar panels on the roof, it's sure to get people talking. So good luck, peace, grease, and good journey. Thank you.